question you have to answer when you are the leader main leader in the organization there are few criteria that you have to do one you have to be really clear about the priorities so what are the priorities one is your personal priorities and the second one is the business priorities okay so business priorities should always stay you know, very important this one in terms like okay what needs to get done in the business what needs to happen in the business okay so when you are doing or when you are managing the business priorities you have to become more like a manager you have to get the work done now getting the work done maybe from a vendor maybe from an outsourced person maybe from an employee maybe from the client side sometimes you have to get some work done from the client side so how are you managing the work getting done that's in terms of one group of priorities then there is another group of priorities of work that you need to execute okay like say for example in my work client interaction is my work i can't give it to somebody else okay setting up an appointment with a client can be outsourced so like that what are your priorities what are the priorities which the business needs to get done and what are the priorities that you need to get done so first and foremost the clarity needs to be in terms of the priorities and you have to give them a hierarchy number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 number 5 finish number 1 then go to number 2 then go to number 3 then go to number 4 and that has to be done every single week every single week the question that needs to be asked and discussed is what are the top business priorities to be completed this week what are the top personal priorities to be completed this week if it is business priorities to be uh, done by somebody else then it need to be communicated with them there needs to be a consensus with that concerned party and they should be focusing on executing it so what is the review system to ensure that they are going to execute it okay and how we are going to supervise it if it is going to be your personal priorities who is going to be the person to whom you are going to be accountable everybody needs an accountability partner i i have like you know for each and every single area of my life i have an accountability partner to whom i communicate okay fine this is how i work this is what i'm going to get done and i have got done sometimes you get things done sometimes you don't get things done okay sometimes things may not get done but still you need to have someone to be accountable to so to ask yourself how much i'm being really accountable how much i'm really focusing on my priorities or am i getting distracted or am i going with the distractions and always have the list of priorities as a sheet of paper in your pocket so that if you ask what can i do or what needs to be done is it in the priority then do it there will always be urgent things there will always be something or other urgent however if urgent things get the priority before or if urgent things get the primary importance before important things then results will also show it Okay, so what are the important things? Make them urgent first. What are urgent things? If they are not important, keep them aside. First, finish your important things, and then come for the other urgent stuff. So that is number one. And number two, it's about managing the energy. So when it comes to managing the energy, there are two tasks again over there. One is how do you up level your energy, as in increase your energy. fine okay so i am sitting and working can i have better ventilation so that you know uh, i feel more energetic can i go and work out once or twice a day so that i have more physical energy can i stay hydrated drink water every 30 minutes so that i have more energy can i take some naps 10 minute 15 minute naps in between maybe once in 2 hours or once in 3 hours can i just sit and close my eyes and meditate or do some deep breathing exercise or maybe every 90 minutes go out for a small 10 minute walk how is it that i am going to up level my energy and number 2 what are the activities who are the people who are more of energy vampires that can be avoided get rid of all avoidable energy vampires that's something that's very 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 important get rid of all avoidable energy vampires that's something that's very important so that is how you go ahead and you manage your time this is something as time management it's about like in the given time in the given 24 hours everybody has the same 24 hours how do you manage your energy 
and how do you manage your priorities if in eight hours a person focus on his top one number one priority which is of heart most importance highest importance and he does it at his top level of energy not when he is tired not feeling tired not feeling low not feeling uh, worried or something like that but then he is doing it with his top level of energy he will get done more in four hours than a person who is focusing only on urgent stuff or even for one whole week which are unimportant and he does it with very low energy with a very sluggishness and all those stuff so that person will not get so much things done okay i can even give a numerical example for this if at level energy level 10 zero to 10 10 being the highest energy zero being the lowest energy if at energy level 10 i can do 10 tasks then at energy level 9 i can do 9 tasks at energy level 8 i can do 8 tasks so at energy level 1 i can get only one task so i work for 8 hours first hour i work at 10 i finish 10 tasks second hour i work at 9 i finish 9 tasks third hour i work at 8 i finish 8 tasks then fourth hour i take a break how much i have completed 10 plus 9 plus 8 total is uh, 19 plus 27 i repeat it again so 27 plus 27 is 54 that's the quantum of tasks i have completed for the day let's look at another person that person has worked 10 then 9 then 8 then 7 then 6 then 5 then 4 so 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus How much he has done, got done? He would have got done less than the other person. Of course, there is lunch break also. There is lunch break, coffee break, and tea break. So, if you put it, this person would have got done 45 to 48. The other person would have got done 54. So, it's all about like how do you manage your energy. Sometimes it's not about like working continuously. So that's why you know like work for 90 minutes, then take at least a 10 minute break. Then work for 90 minutes, then take at least a 10 minute break do two cycles like this then take a 30 minute break 90 minutes 10 minute break 90 minutes 10 minutes break or 30 minutes break already four hours completed then you repeat the same cycle again or 45 minutes five minutes break 45 minutes five minutes break so it's about like keeping your energy really high and focus on the priorities keep one priority for one task or for one batch module so if it is going to be 45 minutes what is the one task I'm going to get done in this 45 minutes it's not two tasks it's not three tasks it's not four tasks it's not confusing about a lot of tasks it's clearly just focusing about one task are there eight tasks for the day then do we have eight 45 minutes or 8 30 minutes how much time each task is going to take and then you focus on doing it that's how you get in better time management Prioritization, energy management. These two are the key. Next.